With global economic uncertainties, many people, including politicians, have talked about protecting their home markets. But does that mean protectionism is on the rise and will it affect Hong Kong? Principal economist Daniel Poon joins us. So Daniel, you've been looking at protectionism for a decade and more. Is protectionism on the rise? Right now, I think um, I'm afraid to say uh, protectionism is now on the rise. Uh, to be sure, uh, protectionism has not been widespread since the outbreak of the global financial crisis since the year 2008. Because of the uh, absence of widespread protectionism, coordinated policy uh, responses from all over the world led to a great rebound of uh, the world economy and the world trade in the year 2010, uh, after the uh, recession year 2009. But then, world trade and the world economy has again started to slow down considerably since uh, the middle of last year. Initially, it was caused by the disruption to the manufacturing supply chains caused by the uh, disastrous earthquake in Japan. But then, increasingly, it was due to the uh, slower than expected recovery in the US and more seriously, the deepening of the sovereign debt crisis in the EU. Against this, this background, the US and the EU have uh, increased their protectionist measures against imports. So how do you see protectionism manifest itself against Hong Kong? The uh, protectionist measure will affect Hong Kong in, uh, in a very great way because Hong Kong is very much export-oriented. If Hong Kong exports are affected, the Hong Kong growth rate, the Hong Kong economy will be greatly affected. On the other hand, China is the uh, production hinterland for Hong Kong exporters. And unfortunately, China is always the target of protectionist measures. So uh, any increased protectionist measures in overseas market will inevitably affect Hong Kong. So in what ways will Hong Kong exporters expect to see protectionism that's in the major markets of the United States and Europe? In the US and in the EU, the most traditional remedy measures adopted by different nations are anti-dumping investigations as well as countervailing actions. These kinds of measures have very substantial impact on our export because uh, the dumping margin may be as high as uh, a few hundred percentage. It means that the Hong Kong exporters just cannot no longer do business with them because of the high dumping margins. And uh, even if the uh, measures are not uh, implemented at the end of the day, still Hong Kong exporters will be affected because once the uh, proceedings have started, Importers may like to uh, cancel the orders because of the uh, important subsequence brought about by these allegations. So I understand that you've come up with some survival tips for exporters. What's the main thrust of your ideas? Most importantly, uh, exporters should first um, take a close look at the regulatory developments in overseas markets so that they can plan ahead to make any actions in response. Uh, say, for instance, if certain products are to be targeted by uh, protectionist measures, they should avoid that type of uh, products. In most cases, protectionist measures, say uh, for instance, uh, countervailing actions or anti-dumping actions, will focus on the mass market items with low prices. So we should focus on some niche products, competing on design and quality rather than on prices. But if the anti-dumping allegations or countervailing uh, actions are initiated, then we should uh, actively take part in the investigations. At uh, industry level, uh, we should join forces together, possibly through uh, the uh, trade associations, to mount campaigns to act against such allegations so that they would not uh, take another initiatives on other products. At company level, uh, they should also uh, take part in the investigation because if we don't provide information about our production, they would use their own uh, information, which is um, mostly uh, disadvantageous to our exporters. We should also uh, keep a close eye on uh, not only the uh, developed markets like uh, the EU and the US, but also on the developing nations like uh, Brazil and Argentina. Right now, they are adopting uh, protectionist measures uh, to protect their own industry as well.